Welcome back to Ram TV and welcome back to my MLB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 5 and here we are for this April 12th game. We're going to have, it's supposed to be, um, Steven Madsen now. I don't know what happened there. Or Wheeler rather. It's supposed to be Zach Wheeler against uh, Sean Newcomb. And we do have a little injury to... Juan Ladares, he's out for about two weeks, so I had Keon Broxton fill in. So we're going to be playing in Atlanta in Centros Park, they're 3 and 10, we're 9 and 3. Uh, we're going to pick a fancy jersey here, we're going to pick the 85 jerseys. We're going to be playing with quick counts, Zach Wheeler, and I'm going to do this lineup here. We basically just replaced uh, Juan Ladares with. Uh, with Cam Broxton, I think we're going to be okay against the lefty. The only mismatch that we have is with Kumo and Conforto for a lefty, so it'll be a lefty lefty matchup, but I think we should be okay. Um, I'm going to give Volta Rongs probably another day and then give him a day off. But anyway, I'll see you guys in Atlanta. Line against Wheeler. He's batting 412. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Ground ball right side. What a stop. Good play by Kino stopping that ball from going to the outfield. That's for the first out. For the first Miller inning. Executed intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him, but when you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. What a play. By Rosario. Good throw. He takes one away. Yeah. The pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away and he's covering Swing away. Swing him That is a strikeout. And Albies on strikes. So it was a swinging strike. Hit hard on the ground is short. Camargo picks it up. Clean. What a play to get Larry out. Hats off to that one. What a diving stop at a shortstop. That's a tough play just to knock that it's ball going, down. It's a pretty good job, but any way you look at it, that should be scored. Meanwhile, That's a stolen base. I brought him the second of the year. Yeah, yeah, I actually wanted to dive head first, but the ball I'll take it. Well tonight. Back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get it. Well, so we're going to have Broxton play the plate. He is safe. There's not even a throw at home. That is an RBI single by Peter Alonso. And the Mets are up. One to nothing. Having no hits. Up to the fourth inning. We got back to back hits. A stolen base. And an RBI. Mets have a lead. Got him. What? Oh. We all know wow. this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak, so I thought for the sure that was going to be uh, you need to be a little bit out. more aggressive and try to Let's put see. some pressure on your opponents. Right there. Oh, he missed the tag. Good way of doing that. So he missed the tag. Damn it. Three and two. This is one of those innings where I'm swinging with a slider. Inning over. Strand the man on second base. Strand one. Moving to the fifth. The two-two. It's the top Got of the zone. He struck him out with looking. a curveball that just froze him. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know Two outs. he doesn't want it to get in. Going. Uh, Meanwhile, this ball is going to get through. And that's goes a home. And not in time as the run scores. And he is safe, so the Braves have a two-to-one lead. Not in time, safe at the plate. Oh, oh Freddie Freeman with a big, big play. Ready for another Three. shot now. Full he count. Alonso. He came Peter through Alonso. with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Force this walk. Back up the middle. Oh, let's hit it up the middle. There you hit. go. His second of the ball game. Good play by Peter Alonso. Those back-to-back base hits. Hey, it's one out. Q in his sixth inning. Into the box, Robinson Cano. That's going to be a base hit. We try to send Broxton home. He's going to be safe, and it's a tie game. That's three straight bases for the Mets. That's an RBI single for Robinson Cano. Full count. Down the middle. Uh, down the middle. In the opposite direction. Now in the box, Michael Conforto. No hits to this point. Two one pitch. This is his Going opposite direction. Base hit. 
as an RBI single from Michael Conforto and the Mets are up 3-2 to two with two outs. That's some two-out magic with Michael Conforto. He is excited for his base hit, for his RBI, and possibly a win for the Mets. That has to frustrate you, Dan, and execute so an opposite right field, which is something he rarely does. Bat, able to capitalize. Two and two to Camargo. Dom swinging the fastball. That's his fifth strikeout of the game. Two two now to Marquez. Hard hit towards center. And he will reach what a catch by Broxton. Snagging it, almost shoestring catch. That was out number one in the eighth inning, and getting Marquecas on that play. I don't think he was going to catch it, to be honest. Oh, my gosh, and it's a tie game. That is Freeman with a home run. <laughs> tie game, that's the second home of the year. Oh boy. Some eighth inning magic for the Braves as he went dead center field. Conforto drives it to center field. That's going to be a two run shot from Michael Conforto. And he comes up with another clutch home run for the Mets. And they're up 5 to 3 here in the ninth inning with no outs. So it's a two-run shot to right Michael center. Michael Conforto with a deep shot. Three. Without a doubt, that was going to be over the fence from the swing of the bat. What a shot. Let's take a look at our replay here as Michael Conforto celebrates with the guys in the dugout. And they're loving well, it right now. They were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, Boom. but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason, so we waited, stayed back. What? Oh my gosh. Really? Gosh. Let me put a new picture in. Come on, man. Can we double play ball? Out at second. Out at first. That is a game that he double play for the Mets. And we're able to recover from an injury to Edwin Diaz. And we win 5 to 3. Sean Burnett coming in. No, not even warmed up. Came in, got business done. He did give it that walk, but we got a double play to end the game. That is a great, great victory for the Mets. Coming back, tying things up, and hitting that home run by Mike Conforto. Oh, boy. All right, sorry about that. Got a phone call. Um, anyway, so, Mike Conforto. Play of the game. All right, I had to take that phone call real quick. But anyway, Michael Conforto was the player of the game. Two for four with a game-winning home run in the ninth inning. More late game magic for the, for the Mets. And Julius Fernandez gets the win. Sean Burnett gets the save. Um, Avila could have gotten... Not Avila. Uh, Edwin Diaz could have gotten, but he came down with a pec injury. I'm not sure if it's torn or if it's... Uh, if it's this one to two weeks okay I'll, I'll be okay with that a pec strain I'm okay with it uh, so we are gonna make some changes in the rotation or the, the bullpen we're gonna put in Amelia as our closer but just put Giselle in as a setup man you know the righty here so I might have to call up somebody from minors Pitchers, who goes there already? See what the right or lefty? I don't remember. Leaf pitcher, righty, righty. Okay, so we're gonna call up Seawald, or I could call up Jason Vargas. Seawald, it is. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna come in, and we are gonna be managing some player, managing some players here. We should be okay. We're going to be continuing on. Uh, we're going to be simming this game against the Braves. Uh, again, this is the third out of four games in Atlanta, so we'll sim this. 
them through it, and we are in a critical situation where Familia has a man on second, Freddy Human on first. Uh, I trust the simulation, I will let it go by that, and we won! Alright, we won 4-3, to three. so we win this series. And we are now 11-3 and three in the season! Fantastic! Another big situation here. What? Uh, wow. Kid Alonso, 4 for 4 with a home run, 3 RBIs, 2 doubles. All you need is a triple. And we sweep the Braves. We're now 12 and 3. And we're going to be facing Atlanta. I'm trying to figure out which pitcher I want on the mound. Or I might just go with this game with Syndergaard. Or with Jacob going for, his, going for his fourth win. Man. Choices or choices. So what I'll do is I will play this season opener in Philly with Jacob DeGrom against Nick Pavetta. Philly's 8-6 for 12-3. So which thing should be pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the standings here. For the NL East, the Mets are up. Two and a half games over Washington, three and a half games over Philly. So this should be interesting. We'll try to bring down Philly some more, uh, make the gap even larger early in the season. So we'll be less who we're at later on. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB the ninth ever be the nineteen MLB nineteen uh, franchise with the Mets. If you like your stuff, click the thumbs up button, leave any comments below, and if you haven't subscribed, hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy, and peace.